Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday morning market webcast. Okay, so daily chart, and you can see we got our low here. You got a potential higher low with the 24.38 half low from Friday versus here and you're seeing a higher high, we got up over that 25.20 area that had been difficult. As a function of time, this daily mid-band continues to drop. So it had acted as resistance on Friday. It's underneath price now. It's coming in about 30 half. We're trading about 33. So we've been kind of dancing on either side of it here in the pre-market. Uh, we traded as high as uh, 51.75 last night. So they've really tried to push up off of it and what you could you could call what's been happening, oh, say from 4.30 in the morning, you know, through now is really just kind of a retest of that daily mid-band. So for me, the big takeaway today is, do we close above or below it? Um, if we close above it and it maintains itself as support for the duration of the day, then we can start to reach for things. We can start to reach for the, pre, uh, the pre-FOMC price up at, um, up at 25.86. The, the one thing that continues to hold stuff in is the monthly pivot. The monthly pivot comes in at 25.48. They were able to get a few handles over it in the overnight, but they were not able to convert that. So 25.48 monthly pivot is gonna have to get converted in order for the bulls to continue to progress above 50 to get into the pre-FOMC price up at 86. What do the bears want? Well, they would they would very much like this bear market rally to end. And it is a bear market rally because see this purple line here way off in the distance? That's the 200 day moving average, okay? We've been, you know, 300 to 350 points below it. And as long as we continue to ultimately trade below it, it's ultimately a bear market. Uh, bear markets have violent rallies. Um, but the bulls will maintain tape control if they're able to convert the daily mid band as well as the new weekly pivot here at 2502.42. They didn't really get that, you know, too much involved. Um, you know, the best they could do last night was 23.25. If the bears are going to have any relevancy this week, they're going to have to convert that weekly pivot. Um, they tried last week. They tried Friday. Couldn't get it done. Try it back on Wednesday, couldn't get it done. So now you can see the consistency of weekly pivot being above price has been replaced now for two weeks in a row with weekly pivot being below price. Okay, It makes the bull's task easier to maintain support. It makes the bear's task more difficult, and that's why you get rallies. So I had... I had forgotten to add the monthly pivot for January. So there it is, there 2548.17. You can see it got tested and it's kind of backed off that the bands are tightening up a little bit. So look, convert the monthly pivot, convert the weekly pivot. We could dance around inside these 50 handles for a couple of days, absolutely without a doubt, especially the way the tape has been whipping lately. And what is bisecting this area? Well, 2530 daily mid band. So you got a lot of cross currents this morning. Um, I'm, I am flat. I expect to be flat into the open. I really want to kind of see um, what 30 wants to do. I, you know, I have no preference. I have no preference. We can break out, we can roll over. It doesn't really matter to me. I continue to only be concerned about the five or 10 handles in front of me. Because being concerned about the five or 10 handles in front of me, that's where you end up on the correct side of the freeway northbound or southbound, and that's where the bigger moves come from. So we wrapped up last week about 75 handles. Um, uh, nice little start to the week, considering it's a short week and all that, um, and well on our way to our monthly goal, which is, you know, we, we you know, the only stated goal we have is four handles a day in a full position. That works out roughly to 20 a week and 80 a month, so we're on our way there. Um, everybody have a fantastic day. We'll be a lot more stuff out on social. Come follow that. Come check us out. It's a great time to start. A lot of new people starting. You'll be learning along with them. And uh, if you trade this stuff, I know you're going to like what you find. So come check us out. Take care. Trade them well. Talk to you soon. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook. And join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.